Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Kabaku and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. For Friday the 8th of November 2019, the economic calendar is as follows. At 1.30am CT, we've got the RBA statement on monetary policy. This is then followed at 4am CT with the Chinese exports year and year for the period of October, as well as the Chinese imports year and year for the period of October. And we also have the Chinese balance of trade for the period of October. And then at 8 a.m. we have the German balance of trade for the period of September. And lastly, at 2.30 p.m. we've got the Canadian employment change for the period of October. With regards to the RBA statement of monetary policy, we do know that the Reserve Bank of Australia left the cash rate unchanged at a record low of 0.75% during their October meeting, as was generally the consensus expected, with policymakers assessing the impact of the three cuts already delivered since June. The board added that given global developments and the evidence of the spare, spare capacity in the economy, it is reasonable, reasonable to expect that an extended period of low interest rates will be required in Australia to, achieve, to reach full employment and achieve the inflation target. Also, they will continue to monitor the labour market and are prepared to ease monetary policy further if needed to support sustainable growth, full employment and the achievement of the inflation target over time. The next bit of data looks at the China uh, exports year on year for the period of October. And we do know that the exports from China dropped 3.2% year on year in, uh, in September 2019 to $218 billion after a 1% fall in August and compared to market estimates of, three, of a 3% decline. This was the steepest yearly fall in overseas sales since February amid weakening global demand and ongoing trade dispute with the US. Meanwhile, following a recent uh, first phase of the trade deal, the US President Donald Trump suspended the threatened tariff hike, which was set for the 15th of October. With regards to the Chinese import year and year for the period of October, this uh, figure slumped to 8.5% from, from a year earlier to $178 billion in September compared to the market consensus of a 5.2% decrease and, uh, and after a 5.6% drop in August. This was the fifth straight consecutive year yearly decrease in imports. When we combine that data uh, that we've seen with, uh, from the imports and exports and we look at, their, at, the, at the Chinese balance of trade for the period of October, we see that uh, China, China's uh, trade surplus widened to $39.65 billion in September of 2019 from $30.26 billion in the same month a year earlier and compared to the market consensus of a $33.3 billion surplus. Looking at the uh, next bit of data, which refers to the German uh, balance of trade for the period of, of September, the German surplus narrowed to 16.2 billion euros in uh, August 2019 from the 17.6 billion euros in the same month last year, as export declined 3.9% to 101.2 billion euros and imports shrank 3.1% to 85 billion euros. Considering the, considering the first eight months of the year, the trade surplus shrank to 147.5 billion euros from 156.4 billion euros in the corresponding period of 2018. The last bit of data looks at the Canadian employment change for the period of October and in that period uh, the Canadian economy um, added 53.7 thousand jobs um, from September 2019 after creating 81.1 thousand in the prior month and beating estimates of a 10 thousand increase. Employment increased in Ontario by 41 thousand and in Nova Scotia by 3,200 whilst it, it held steadily in other provinces. Regarding industry, there were more people working in healthcare and social assistance, as well as in accommodation and food services. At the same time, there were de declines in information, culture and creation, as well as in natural resources. The previous figure is set at 53.7 thousand. The forecast is set at 15.9 thousand 
So therefore, we've seen a significant revision lower with regards to the employment change uh, for Canada. In light of all the data being announced today, um, the, the high impact, the instruments to be paying uh, particular attention will be the euro as well as the uh, Canadian spot currency pairs. That will essentially bring us to the end of today's um, economic calendar review. Good luck and good trading.